Hi, everybody. Well, it's time to get this filmed. I promised you a drop sale, and we almost had a Nancy drop. Um, that pile that I said was tipping over, it went, and I was out there. So, uh, once Mike got home, <laughs> I didn't get hurt or anything. Um, it's just that I was trapped and Gary just, I don't know what happened. Gary just disappeared because that's Gary. So I had more than enough stuff to get through for this sale. So we are just going to whip right through. You can claim items for from a drop sale in the comments. Um, do not go back and edit your comment because I will have to look at the timestamps that the comment came in to decide who was the first one to put in for any item. Most of this stuff is, do I even have anything for five bucks? No, most of this is $4 and under. Think how many roofing shingles all this stuff could pay for. Let's get going here. Um, but uh, if you have not purchased from me before, you will need to send me your YouTube name, your real name, your shipping address, and the email that you use for um, getting a PayPal invoice. If you do not have a PayPal account, I do invoice through PayPal, but you can, if you get an invoice from PayPal, you can go in as guest and pay with a credit card for your invoice. So the very first one, please get these sock monkeys out of my house. So two of them stuck together and the only way I could get them apart literally was to take the cover off. But the one is a thing I want and the other one, these are all transfers and they do this. You know, you can do the transfer and then do line embroidery, really cute. But there's a couple of angels, all kinds of cutie, and then and then there's there's creepy sock monkeys. Look, when you walk in, you're a young kid, and you walk into your grandmother's sitting room, and there's 30 of these little freaks sitting on the couch. It does something to you. It was like a Stephen King horror movie. You guys had Chucky. I had sock monkeys in real life. So... <laughs> please take him away so it's not been used i i never did use any of these transfers um but and they are so they're all there it's just missing the cover so it's just two dollars and it's number 52 it's a lot to get through so i'm going to be going quick if you need to you can change the speed under settings and slow the video down because I am going to try to whip through this to cram as much in as possible. So let's keep going with these leaflets. Magnetic ideas for craft foam. Mike and I used to do a lot of that stuff when he was little. He's 28, 29 now. I've forgotten. Anyway, he's ever so much more than seven. So um, magnetic ideas for craft foam, uh, leisure arts leaflet is, no, it's not $50, duh. It's $3, it's number 50. 50 friendship favorites, another one from leisure arts, and you have all of the directions for all of these ones. I personally like the book one, but you have all of those. Again, I've inherited a ton of stuff. One great aunt used to do a lot of this stuff, and I got it all. Um, so, 50 Friendship Favorites is $3, and that is number 82. Good Natured Girls, Thoughts of Home. This is another one. This is a little thicker. Same thing, though. It is a cross-stitch has all the patterns inside. These are not transfers. Really cool stuff. I like the little cottage on there. But, you know, they have all the directions and the color charts for everything that's in there. Good Natured Girls, Thoughts of Home, $3, number 35. Next we have Sweet Seasons, book one, for these cool-looking 
country craft little rag dolls. Now, she does actually have a face. Doesn't have a mouth, though, which I always found a little disconcerting. You went to the trouble of giving her freckles and the tiniest little eyes I've ever seen and didn't even give her the tiny little line for a mouth. But everything is in there for her, the pattern for her clothes. Never been used. It is $3 for Sweet Seasons. It is number 71. I do apologize for the shadow because I'm sitting on my bed trying to do this because there's just no room downstairs right now um, for me to, to film this. Next, we have Color Point Stitching. Now, Color Point Stitching was for use with fabric paints. And you would, if I can get close enough, you could see how these are all little dots. Well, they're all just little dots of color point paint, see? However, I used to do a lot of these because you can do this either with little French knots, but I used to do them with beads. So this one, I've never used the transfers here. Let's get a nice one. See, so now this would tell you the color they want because there is a color code in here. But this is iron on. And then I would sew little beads across all of this stuff. Yes, time consuming, but the finished thing was really pretty cool. You could do them on tote bags. You could frame it, whatever you would like to do. I have creative quilts, um, color point transfers, this is $3, number 42. I have another color point. This is Simply Delicate. Now, I had two of these. This is the one I didn't use. See, look at the cool designs. And they have them there on pillows, on shirts. Um, I did a couple of sweatshirts of mine. I did these mostly because some of them are smaller. I did these on a lot of the purses I used to make. And I would use beads and not the, not the paint. I would use the beads. So this is Simply Delicate. It is $3. It is number 59. Now, while I'm thinking of it, and I don't have it on my list, I want to show you this. These are fabric paints. These are Vogue Art. They are meant to do sort of like Color Point does. These have a roller ball. But that roller ball is stuck in there. Now, I... I have actually opened a couple of these. That's why there's gold stuck on this one. Um, and I used them. But what I did with the colors I used, because these are so old, um, I ended up cutting off here and to, used a paintbrush, used what I wanted, and then would roll this up like toothpaste and then stick a paper clip over it. You know, those kind that have the black ones that um, have the little tabs you push down and it opens up and and they stayed and it was great because I was able to fix something I had made back in high school that I really liked so there's a bunch of different colors in here if you are interested in all these Vogue art ones it, it's three dollars just three dollars for all of them I do know that they still these still are usable but you, it's just going to have to take a little doing. Um, just let me know um, if you're interested in the Vogue art. Uh, just, just put down Vogue art in the description if you want to try to play around with these. And, uh, and let me know. <laughs> okay, where can I sit? The, I'll sit them back. Okay, let's go back to these. Stony Creek, Thoughts of Wisdom. This is another one that's the charts for all these cr counted cross stitch. $3, number 12. Next is On a Country Shelf. And we have all these cute little things. Um, I made this one for a friend a long time ago. So, um, but it's all the same. It's all little things. This is $3. And it's number 41. Next is the Spring Summer 1969 McCall's Do You Do It Home Decorating. Honestly, that is a bit much on those walls. But it has 
like all the different it teaches you some of the different stuff the ladies guide to a tool chest teaches you some of the stuff you need to know what i like is it gives you all the directions the coverlet the dust ruffle some of the stuff you see in here has the directions in it fun things you can make for the kids room personally i like the castle can i have it for my cats it has you do it directions and really now the couple of the center pages were folded in half for the children's rooms not sure why but otherwise the rest of it is in good shape this is three dollars number 44 the next one is how to make your windows beautiful volume 11 i've forgotten the year but this has some great images in it they talk about the different kind of ways to hang things um there's so many different things in here to teach you uh, about the cool ways you could hang things. It doesn't have to just be, you know, a plastic tension rod. But it also has all these great images inside that if you wanted to use this for junk journaling, you certainly could. This is Windows Beautiful is $3 and is number 33. Now... Let's start with some fabrics. Now, this one is a partial. I have two full sets of this that will be in Thursday night's live sale. But this one, this got cut off. All the others are fine. But it's missing a whole other row. So it's, it's, it's definitely missing another row. But these are all little labels that you would put on your things. And then you would either stitch you know, from grandma or a name and or a date. And but you could then sew it on or applique it. Um, you could use uh, fabric pens. So this one is just a partial. So this one is and and finding these are not easy. Um, this one is three dollars. Number 15. Come here, you. Okay, let's get you down here. Moo! Now we have cows. We have cows! Some of you get that joke. How many of you saw Twister? Okay, this is a piece of flannel. I don't know the maker because the selvage pretty much goes right to the edge. At one point, we th I thought I was going to make a quilt for a niece that collected cows, and it never happened. So there's bound to be odd bits of cow fabric that we're going to find over the next year as we go through all this. So this is a quarter yard cut. It is a full quarter yard of cow flannel. It is a lighter weight flannel in, in that it's thinner. It's not super thick. I do have some thicker stuff that will be uh, yardage that will be in Thursday's sale. So the moo cows, the moo cows are, I've lost it on my list. Okay, the moo cows are the wonderful price of $3 for a quarter yard cut of the moo cows, number 23. All of this fabric, the latest anything was from, would be 2005, but most of this, I know this cow stuff by then, by the time we hit the year 2000, that wasn't happening. So this stuff is, is mostly from the 90s. And we have cows in a cornfield. There we go. Cows are cracking me up because they just look like Swiss cheese. They must be Swiss cheese cows. So cows, cows in a cornfield. This is also a quarter yard cut, 100% cotton. It is number 31, $3, number 31. Next is what they call a fat quarter. For those of you who don't quilt, a fat quarter is where they take half a yard of fabric and they cut it. See, it's all one. Let me back up here. It's all one big flat piece. So what they've done is, so this edge is the selvage edge. So they measure out half a yard but then they cut it along the seam here. And this is what they call a fat quarter. This, all these patterns are absolutely discontinued patterns. 
So there is really cool baseballs everywhere. Fat quarter. That is $3 for the baseballs. And it is number 87. Next, I have, it is missing one lone feather because there is a little bit of a hole there. It hit the floor and the kittens got it before I could ever even say anything. So these are uh, guinea plumage. This is all, all these nice spots are from guinea hens. I don't need these anymore. I've never even used them. They are still in good shape. So if you need guinea feathers or somebody you know does fly fishing and needs little short um, puffy feathers for their flies that they tie. This is $2 and it's number 76. Next we have style crafts pattern. Now I have multiples of this pattern, so I'm giving one up. It's for a lot of cool little notice. A lot of these are satin. I think this one is a velvet. I think this one's a crushed velvet, but it makes these little bags, or you can make shawls. Or if you want to be real fun, you make this and make it as a, as a runner for the table at, out of like red velvet for the holidays. Um, but I don't need, I don't need three copies of this pattern. Uh, so by all means, here is a style crafts, um, pattern for making these bags and it is three dollars it is number 10 next this is all cotton and it's a nice look you can't even see my fingers it is a nice bunch of uh nice tight weave heavyweight 100 percent cotton mom Mom wasted nothing. She saved it all up. There's, I don't know how much, like this, this is a big piece folded over a couple of times. And then they're small like that. But if you quilt, you know how important it is to find solid colors that are that really, will it focus? No. That are that really tight, um, readjust. There we go tight weave. Uh, so all of these cotton scraps, which would be great for piece quilting, um, you get this whole thing and you know how hard it is anymore to get, um, decent, decent cotton. Uh, so this one is $4 for all of that. And it is number 40. Next, there is something. Now, this stuff is either from, come here, this particular pile is either from the 70s or the early 80s. My aunt used to work at the mills, the clothing mills, up around Bloomsburg, PA, and she would always bring mom scraps and spools of stuff because they would say just throw them in a dumpster. But then, like, we had so many of these, I'm really surprised to see any of them left. Because she used to make little doll clothes out of them, little things for, you know, the the dollhouse. Just this, this was the stuff she let all the kids and the grandkids play with. Um, so I was real surprised to find any left. There are how many sheets? There are forty two squares. Now this stuff is thin. It is thin. It's a loose weave. Um, and the, there is a lot, I mean, look at the stiffness of this. There's a lot of sizing on this. I personally think that one's pretty cool, but there are 42. They are not all the same at most. Now see like that one has a flaw in it. At most, there's two of any one pattern. So there's all these, um, I'm estimating that these are six. So I'm estimating that these are nine by nine blocks. There's 42 of them. They are either the late seventies or the early eighties, because by the time I graduated high school in 1984, she wasn't working at the mills anymore. So 
I'm laughing because I see the number that's coming. So it's four. It's four dollars for these forty-two nine by nine squares, and the number is eighty-four, <laughs> which I just said is you know when I graduated high school. So let's see what's next. Um, did that one? Okay, these are. Where are these? These are not there. I've lost two. Oh, I see. I can't read my own handwriting. So these are two. If you do piece piecework, I'm putting these two together. Love the hummingbird. Beautiful morning glories. But look at how narrow it becomes. Okay, so this is just an end of, probably an end of bolt piece. And then this one, again, this one's not, this is not a full quarter yard, but it's got all these cool cats on it. So you get both of those. You'll get both of these pieces. And I think... That one came from Joanne Fabrics. I'm not, because I used to work there for six years in the 90s. Not sure about that one. So for these two pieces, I should change that. Oh, well. Um, so for these two pieces, it is, oh, why don't we just lower it to $2? $2 number 38 for those two. And then, now this one is really cool. I don't know who it was made for because it's missing that part. But I kind of suspect it might have been a Daisy Kingdom. I don't know. Um, but this is the back. It's a little wider than a quarter yard. But this... This is the front. Oh, see, <laughs> isn't that cool? That is an awesome, awesome picture. And I've never figured out what to do with that. So I'm offering this up. It's a little more than a quarter yard wide. So this is fence border fabric, $3 for the piece, number 29. Now we have silver lame. This is 30 inches by 45 inches wide. Um, Silver Lame is real fun to work with. I talked about it in the work with me because the ends do like to fray. You are going to need to get yourself something that um, uh, something to hem it with. You can't put a hot iron on it. Um, if you're unfamiliar with Lame, L-A-M-E, the E should have a little apostrophe above it. It's not lame. It's lame. Um, look up what you have to do with this stuff before you buy. It's good for gluing the things, but it doesn't like hot glue gun glue because this, this little foily kind of stuff will melt. So this uh, piece of silver lame, 30 inches, 45 wide. So it's a fairly big piece, but I'm selling it for all of $2. $2, number 56. Now, here's a piece. This. This is a 15-inch, probably by 45, but this stuff. Back in the 80s, they came out with stuff called Moonbeam Chiffon. I know, my prom gown was made out of it. Mine was made out of blue. This stuff is this wonderful silvery gray. And I'm trying to find an end I can kind of get it opened. But this is still two... You can just see my fingers, but that's two layers of it. But the stuff is great. And surely you could do something with it for Halloween. Um, it is a 15-inch cut. And that is... $3 for that piece because that stuff is 
and was not inexpensive. I'm not sure they still make moonbeam chiffon, quite frankly. Um, cause it's, it's, it's not like your typical chiffon. It is meant to be stiff. It has some body to it. It's not like the really thin wispy kind of chiffon. It is a very stiff chiffon and it all has this wonderful pearlescent to it. So this 15 inch wide cut is $3 number 66. This is a thing of clear plastic that I talked about. My mom used to make raincoats for uh, American Girl dolls. This is a half yard cut. I've forgotten. This used to come on a roll, not a bolt, a roll. And I forget how wide they were and we didn't always put it on the thing. So the clear plastic piece is $2. $2, number 48. I know we're dangerously close to the half hour mark, but I am really determined to get a lot in here. So we saw these the other night. There are three packs of these that have the little things in it for you to put a little gemstone or a picture or something in there. They are plastic gemstone settings. There's five pieces in each. It is $2 for all three of those. It is number 85. I have, where are my chickens? Where are my chickens? Okay. Have you ever seen birds made out of mushrooms? Made in China, but these are birds made out of mushrooms. They are chickens. I have three chickens. They crack me up. Come on, focus. There we go. But they are made out of mushrooms. I kid you not. And they're fun. So I have three chickens for $3. That's just a dollar each. Quite the deal. And it's number 34 for the three chickens. Next is two handcrafted miniatures. If you've ever gone to a miniature show, you know there are always people there, vendors who make their living making stuff. This is Moo Juice and Decal. The cow with for her moo juice. And she will, she's, she's got quite the chunky feet. So she will stand up in a little curio thing. You could have that right next to it. They were made in the USA, all handmade. Um, I picked these up at one of the Tri-State Miniature Groups shows and never used it. So it is $3 for the two cow miniatures. And it is number 14. Now we have macrame beads. I've got three packs, two in red, one in brown. Um, the macrame beads, it's just $2 for all three packs. It is number 63. And it is the last two things here. We have these two. One is grape and leaves gold. They are metal, some kind of metal facings. And then this is a one inch edged leaf in gold trying to get it so you can see the back but they got this weird little piece of paper in there so um so you get both of those the metal leaves it's two dollars for those and it's number 46 and then i have the last thing i have is kitty litter made you laugh didn't i so this is a kit. It is still sealed. It comes with everything, including a little frame. And it has everything in there. Uh, yep, including a needle. To get into heaven, it's who you know that counts. Fun little thing called kitty litter. It's a cross-stitch kit. And this is $4 for the kit, number 22. $4, number 22. We are one minute away from this being half an hour long. And I thank you very much for putting up with this fast go round. And I look forward to seeing you all on Thursday night. And this sale will be good for one week from the day it's posted. So I'll put the date in the title and that way or of when it's done. And if you see anything that didn't get claimed, you can always email me or put it in the comments and I will see if it's still available for you up until one week from the date this is posted. All right. Bye.